Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game for you this evening. Check this out. We got in this sweet Data East RoboCop arcade game. And it's the original dedicated cabinet. It's got the uh, track music turned on, too. Uh, so it's going to be talking the whole time we're doing this video, but that'll be all right. It'll make you feel like it's 1989 again. I mean, 1988 again, right? We got this in the other day. It's in it's in its original cabinet. These had this kind of unique look to them, mainly because of this rounded marquee on the top. So it actually sticks out from the cabinet in a semicircle. It's the only one I remember that was like that. But well, there were a couple other Data East ones like that, like uh, Bad Dudes. Robocop and that may be it. I think Dragon's Lair did something similar, didn't it? Didn't Dragon's Lair come out but it was more straight? Look at this thing though. Now, I have not played this game ever. I played the Nintendo version years ago and I uh I saw the movie, I think, when it came out. Check this out. I've got grease all over my hands. I've been working on my truck again. Part man, part machine. All game. Let's see if it's anything like the arcades at track mode. Yes, we have a store where we have just random Nintendos and stuff hooked up. <laughs> well, that's why I don't need, I need to, I need to blow on it, right? Something, maybe if I push it to the side a little bit. Now let's try it again. There it is. You just gotta mess with it a little bit. <laughs> this is a little different than the arcade version. A little bit. Okay, that's on the attract mode. That's not. That's not. Let's see if it looks anything like the first level. Oh, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> All right. That's gonna be playing in the background. I better turn it down while we're looking at the arcade game. So that was the that was the Nintendo version. I would I would assume it was the same year. 1988. The Saturn's still there, but it's a little faded. Licensed by Ocean, Orion Pictures, I guess, made the movie, right? 1988, Data East USA Incorporated, Robocop, trademark in 1987, Orion Pictures Corporation. All rights reserved, Ocean and Orion are registered trademarks of Ocean Software Limited and Orion Pictures Core, respectively. And then also Data East got in there. But yeah, so this is the dedicated. Well, the the you don't see these too often anymore because what happened was, like most games, whenever this game came out, after a while, it didn't earn as much money. Now, you know whether or not this is a good game is deba is debatable. But just about all of the arcade games, after a little while, they didn't earn as much money because they were you know they were no longer the new game. They were a little older. Everybody had already played it, and they were onto the new thing that looked better or played better. So what operators would do is they would turn these old cabinets into other games. Well, when they did that on this particular cabinet, 
they ran into a problem where the marquee was weird. So what the operators usually did was they would cut this straight across the top and then cut the very top straight um, and then just put a regular flat marquee on it like a, I don't have really a kit in here. Well, I've got some, but they would put just a flat marquee that you got with your kits because you didn't get one big enough to do this curved thing, right? Um, so usually, my whole point is usually whenever you find these cabinets, they've been turned into another game and they've cut that marquee. Horrible! And it, like I, I, was, I was mentioning, Dragon's Lair having the same kind of thing. They did it on a lot of Dragon's Lairs too. They could convert it into another game and cut the marquee flat on the top. Huh. Huh. Gives me nightmares just thinking about it. But so this is a this is a RoboCop that has never been converted. It came out back in the day, made whatever money it made, and it's still a RoboCop and it's still working. Thirty-one freaking years later, thirty-one years later, it's still doing its thing. So I wonder if yeah, there's one. Okay, there is a meter in here, and the meter says. 15,663 plays. So you do the math. 15,663 plays. Uh, that's not quite $4,000. Well, this thing probably cost $1,800 or $2,000 when it came out. And then if you put it in a location, you split the money with the, uh, with the owner of the location. So like if you put it in a bowling alley or something, you gave half of the money to the location. So this game may have never even paid for itself. You know, the owner, whoever bought it, the operator may have lost money on it because they never converted. They never even got to use the cabinet for anything. I guess at some point they sold it and made a little bit of money out of selling it. But Oh, and I wanted to show you inside it as well. We've got the back door off. So down here in the bottom... It's really not all that much in it, you know. And this is typical of most arcade games if you're if you haven't uh, messed with many of them. There's not a ton in them. But uh, down at the bottom, you've got a little board that they could just screw right in, and it's got the power supply on it. It's got an isolation transformer on it. It's got a line filter on it, and it's got two fuses on it. And that that handles all the power and everything for the for the cabinet. Over here on the side is the game board. Uh, screwed to the side of the cabinet and then you have this monitor here we uh, somebody at some point has replaced this monitor uh, but they did a good job with it you can see right there where they spliced in the the new style connector instead of the old original one but they did a pretty good job with it and we recapped the monitor and the thing uh, it's got a pretty good picture on it it's the right size for the cabinet and everything and you might not even know that that's not the original monitor if I hadn't have told you. Okay. Then up here at the top, it's still got the Data East sticker. It says Model 1 US. And then somebody has written 37. I don't know if that means anything. Um, so. These things, in my opinion, this is a dedicated game. But like I said, it was also the same cabinet that they put at least uh, at least bad dudes in as well. So some people would say, oh, it's not dedicated. That was just a generic cabinet that they put different games in. But it looks dedicated to me, folks. I mean, this is how RoboCop shipped from the factory. You bought a RoboCop, this is how it showed up. That's dedicated. All right, so it has this little cardboard bezel all the way around the monitor and it has all these scenes from the movie I would assume just from the first movie I haven't watched it in so long I don't remember all right so it's hard to tell what the hell's going on man. I guess if you had just recently seen the movie <laughs> I'm showing you the box there's a, there's a speaker um Oh no, now it's out of focus. I guess if you had just recently seen the movie in 1988, the trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. Ah, uh, you would recognize more of the scenes. Robocop. 
All right, so down here at the bottom, it tells you how to play it. RoboCop's mission is to clean up all the crime in old Detroit. Good luck, RoboCop. I mean, you might clean up some of the crime, but all of the crime? RoboCop will encounter all types of enemies armed with all types of weapons. RoboCop is tough, but not indestructible. See what you can do with RoboCop power. Power meter. Power remaining. Power used up. Controls. Shoot up. Shoot up. Left, right. Duck, duck, duck. Goose. Shoot and punch. Jump. Okay. The P is increased power. You can get a triple shot. You can get a super beam shot. Kill Boddicker to pick up the Cobra gun. Alright, so like I said, I have never played this thing. Oh, another thing. Some of these Data East games, they went way out of their way to make them ambidextrous. Buttons on each side. But let me tell you a little secret. I'm left-handed, so... I guess they were thinking that I would want to use these buttons, but I don't. Whenever I play, I use the joystick on my left hand and the buttons on the right, just like everybody else does. So I don't know why they went through all that trouble. It always seemed weird. Uh, I think Akari Warriors is like that, too. The buttons are on both sides. I guess they uh, were very worried about that at some point. <laughs> but... It was all for naught. All of us lefties just played it the way everybody else did. No problema. Okay, so I will set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit and see what all the fuss is about. Yeah. Okay, so my standard disclaimer, the rolling flash that you're seeing go through the screen is not actually doing that in person. It is an artifact of the camera aimed at the CRT monitor. It's old school stuff that you don't see anymore. Okay, so we're going to play this sucker. You've noticed I've turned up the sound. Listen to the credit sound. the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. Uphold the law. Oh, snap. He's getting his magic dog. Okay, here we go. And this part here. Now, how are you supposed to read that? This is a game for speed readers. <laughs> How about one of these? Huh? How about one of them? Huh? Or one of those? Drop it! Drop it. <laughs> yes, I beat up a motorcycle. Deal with it. How about that? Oh, look at this guy up in the window. He thinks he's cute. Look at him. Trying to take out Robocop. Do I have a... Uh... Yeah, look, it says full at the top. <laughs> I don't know if you can... But I guess the one gun's always full. Oh, he got me in my heel. Wait a minute. I haven't seen a movie in a long time, but didn't something happen like that? Something about his heel or something? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh-oh. Thank you for your cooperation. 
operation. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that. Thank you for co your cooperation. Drop it, creep. Disturbance in Old Town. Something else that I wasn't fast enough to read. Look, none of the buttons are stuck. That's jump. Shoot. The other shoot. The other jump. That's down. Left. Right. That's up. Nothing's stuck, so it's not like it's fast-forwarding through what it says. It's a flaw, folks. Did I shoot the kid? You know, now that I think about it, RoboCop's kind of a Batman ripoff. Well, I bet this is awesome, whatever it is. Should have jumped. It seems like when I shoot, you can. No. I was thinking you could move the bullets after they fire, but you can't. It was an optical illusion. Oh no. Oh no. Will it let me continue? What? You gotta be kidding me. Oh yeah, there we go. Give me my gun. Uh oh, boss time. What? Why would it? Why would it go so fast? There must be a setting or something. over 28 hits I'm a perfect shooter 100% hit people I thought I saw me miss some but whatever I mean we're talking about a computer here if the computer says I'm perfect I'm perfect why would it why would it go so fast that's got to be a dip switch setting or something <laughs> This would be very dangerous for a RoboCop. Oh, 
Oh, it's a conveyor. What the hell was that? Is that like girders or something? Accepted. Now what? Once again, it's on. Look at that. What the hell is that? Is that more of this? How do I get up there? <laughs> Must have more. No, nope, guess I can't get up there. Well, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Nope, that didn't work. Oh. Oh, I only got two shots left. Well, I guess it's so long. Who's this? It wouldn't let me shoot him. I got you. Take me to Dick Jones. Uphold the law. Boom. Man, I wasn't on my game on that board. school said, give me another quarter. Oh, it did do a true continue because there was only one guy there waiting for me that time. Actually got a pretty short time limit on each board too. Oh, you can't really shoot down. I guess I had to go down. Guess who's back in town? I'd 
like to save a couple bullets for the boss. Mmm. They got me. It seems like as we go through, they get more and more quarters from me. I thought there was a grenade there somewhere. Oh. Duh. Duh. You are under arrest. rather just have his gun the whole time or that big cool gun I can't get you down there. Oh, he's getting my number. Thank you for your cooperation. One bar left. Thank you for your cooperation. Shooting practice. Here we go. Shooting practice. You know I'm perfect at this, right? pretty good. I got all my power back. Remember I was on one bar? Emergency call it said. I saw him over there. I saw him over there. Got me. I succumbed to the to the. The music's pretty good, I think. All right, 
right, folks, but I think that's enough for one night. I can't play all the way through it. I mean, that's not really the point of this. I'm just trying to show off the game a little bit. If you want to play all the way through it, you can check out MAME or something like that. But look, I am uh, the two best players in the world, apparently. And I'm number four in the world, and number nine in the world somehow. I'm number one, two, four, and nine in the world. Protect the innocent, uphold the law. All right, folks, so there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Now, by the time you see this Robocop, he may have uh, walked off into someone else's game room. We may not even have him available for sale anymore. So we're not necessarily trying to sell you this with this video. We're just trying to document it a little bit so people remember what these things were like because eventually they'll all be gone, as will we all. Uh, but these videos will live on, right? <laughs> so leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about it. Now, if you are looking to buy some arcade games, you can check out our website to see which ones we have available for sale right now. Our website is lionsarcade.com, and we've got all of our games listed on there. Now, if you're local, you can come by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And every time we get in a new uh, game like this, something interesting, we will film a video and put it up for you. And uh, you can check them all out if you subscribe to us. Now, the last thing we want you to do is to make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. Because we didn't have to. It's actually very late at night. I was just doing this because we were thinking about you, right? So leave your comments below. Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. And we will see you on the next video. Thank you for your cooperation.